Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, April 9th, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called If the Clue Fits. Alright, let's get started. One across. Precision woodworking tool. Hmm, so it's not an ads? I wonder if it's a hand ads. That would make sense, it's a smaller ads. Let's see if that's right. Nickname that drops CES. Hmm. Drops CES. I'm not sure about this one. Very formal or very informal garment. Hmm. I wonder if this is a formal garment and it's a very informal name for it? Hmm. I don't know about that one either. Royal title. Hmm. It's not king? Interesting. The time machine on Doctor Who. Okay, that's definitely a TARDIS. Okay, so it's not a hand ads. I thought that was a pretty good guess. Toy Story antagonist. That's Sid. What makes creamer creamier? And this is wordplay, so it's not talking about coffee creamer. Creamer, creamier. I wonder if they're just talking about the letter I here. Because that would make creamer into creamier. Um, how would you write the letter I? Is it just E-Y-E? -E? I'm actually not sure how to spell the letter I. Maybe they're just looking for an I? That seems like a pretty good guess. So this is looking like it's going to be a saw of some kind. What Beethoven did in his 30s and 40s. I know he went blind at the end of his life. Is that what they're asking about? Ingredient in a Caesar salad. There's not many ingredients in a Caesar salad. Though it is looking like it's probably going to be romaine. Romaine lettuce. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is Francis. Very formal. Is it a gown? Very informal, like a dressing gown? I don't know about FG. Precision woodworking tool. Is it a flat saw? Hmm. I wonder if it's a robe. I suppose that could make sense. Trivia lover, maybe? That could be a nerd. Hmm. Is it a fret saw? What is this? Royal title. Yeah, that could be an emir. I've never heard of a fret saw before. This is probably going to be a theme answer. It is pointing to a revealer. Let's stick with what we've got. And this looks like it's going to be an equivalent phrase. It should be a bird in the hand, right? That's the classic phrase. Okay. It's not went blind, that doesn't fit. Oh wait a minute, he didn't go blind, he went deaf. And that would fit, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, okay. Blockhead, could that be a twit? English do's or dos? Maybe this is the Spanish word for two, yeah. British draft horse? Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to know about this. Use as a rendezvous point. That'll be meet at. S in exclamation. S in is in Germany, so this is going to be ach, a German exclamation. When repeated, a 1999 number one Santana hit. Hmm. I wonder if I've heard of this. A tick or a talk. Is that a second on a clock? Yeah. What an at symbol might signify? Uh, I don't know, it could signify a Twitter handle. Hmm. Word with ear or piece. Ear or piece. Maybe inner ear, inner piece? Yeah. Confused could be at all. What is this? Is it Maria? I don't think I've heard of that. Maria, Maria? 
Hmm. Sky Miles Offerer. That's looking like it's going to be Delta. Okay, so this is another theme answer. How clever we both are. An equivalent phrase again. Hmm. What's another way of saying that? And it's probably going to be an old aphorism. Hmm. How clever we both are. I don't know. Four to five spaces typically. That's probably a tab on a keyboard. Jessica of the Illusionist. Hmm. Is it Jessica Beal? Is that right? I'm not sure if she was in that. Like swimming and surfing. Hmm. Is it aquatic? That would fit. I think it probably does have to be Beal here. They may be yawning. This is kind of a fun misdirection. This isn't about people yawning. I think this is going to be about yawning chasms. Nice, okay. It's okay, an equivalent phrase. Meh. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is going to be great minds. Great minds think alike. So these are all kind of the first part of famous phrases, right? Or famous sayings. How clever we both are. Yeah, it's not the full phrase, it's just the first part. Interesting. Highly luminous galactic object. Is that a quasar? Passionate. Hmm. Passionate. I'm not sure. It's worth one point in cricket. I guess that would be a run, right? It's not ardor, that's not the right part of speech. Complete as a PDF contract, that's gotta be e-sign. Oh, natural, that's when you're nude or naked. Canopy makeup, you can have a canopy of trees. Oh, this is ardent, okay. Dissimilar to should be unlike. Pulitzer winner James, that's James Aggie. With Desmond Tutu, co-author of the 2016 bestseller, The Book of Joy. I didn't know this, but it looks like it's gotta be the Dalai Lama. Okay. Ground grain, that could be Masa. We had that on yesterday's puzzle too. Target of tetracycline. I think that's an acne medication. Where grilled cheese can be found at McDonald's. Hmm, I never go to McDonald's. Suffix for a fad. Uh-oh. It's looking like masa is going to be wrong. So what is this going to be instead? Maybe just meal? Yeah, and this can be mania. Okay. Was out. Could that be slept? You're not conscious? Chew out? Maybe that's rip? Hmm. What do we have here? Is this just another theme answer? Timid types shouldn't be here. Hmm. So this is about being brave. Where only the brave dare to tread? I don't know. Is that even a phrase? I'm not sure if I have that right. British draft horse. Modern day dance pioneer Duncan. Is that Isadora Duncan? I know I've heard of her. Locale of Hephaestus's forge in mythology? I think that was on Mount Etna. I think we've seen that before. Police operation requiring patience. Requiring patience? What are they talking about? Police, interesting. Rose gold, e.g. Would that be an alloy? Yeah. Spice grinder. Ooh. Is this a technical term? I'm not sure if I'm gonna know this. What a pity, an equivalent phrase. Alas. Writer humorist Fraser. Isn't that Ian? I think I've seen that name before. Sorta, yeah, that's gonna be ish. Family member that's also a letter in the NATO alphabet. Oh man, is it Papa? 
Is that right? I'm not 100% sure about that. Roadhog, and this is wordplay. So it's not about hogging the road. Hog is also a nickname for a Harley Davidson motorcycle. So this will be a Harley. Spice grinder. Oh, it's just a pestle, like a mortar and pestle. Okay. Police operation. Hmm. I wonder if it's a stakeout. Yeah, that would require the patience of the police. Okay. Choir voice. That's got to be an alto. Little car of song that's really looking fine. I think that's a GTO. One charged with climate policy. Maybe that's the energy czar? Uh, is it CZ or TS? Let's see if it's TS here. Spot for a tat. Uh, well, it could be a peg. Maybe it is CZ after all. Yeah, let's try peg. Carpenter's tool. Is this going to be an ads? Can you spell ads with an E? I want to say maybe you can. Like many suitcase handles. Yeah, maybe this is extendable. Oh, that doesn't fit. Oh, man. Um, is this a D? Gave as nourishment. Yeah, maybe that's fed to. Classic Memphis-based record label. I think that's going to be stacks. Yeah. Is this really not extendable? Is it extending? This has got to be an A. No bid. An equivalent phrase. Maybe this is bridge could it be i pass from a to z maybe i guess if things are from a to z they could be sorted is this really not extendable blank lily in code that's eli lily breakfast nook that could be a dinette director kazan that's elia i've seen that name before Man, it's really looking like extendable. Hmm. Well, if the locals are doing it, that definitely should be when in Rome. Okay, this should be a D. Occupied. Hmm. Is it used? Let's see if that's right. Resource in the game Catan. Shouldn't that be wheat? Hmm. Occupied. Maybe it's held as territory? Yeah. French name that is an anagram of a German river. Oh my god, is it Rhine? So maybe this is Henri? That's an anagram of the Rhine, yeah. Pompeo of Grey's Anatomy. I want to say that's Ellen. Is that right? Gather as volunteers. Yeah, that should be enlist. And this is extending. Oh man, okay. Commonly contracted two word phrase. That's gotta be are not. Get goosebumps, say. That's gonna be tingle. And a soul is a day on Mars. Yeah, that's right. Male turkey. That's a tom. Male swan is a cob. Good thing I studied up on my bird vocabulary. Okay, so can we get this one? If you... Hmm, I'm not sure what phrase this is. Its largest islands are Savai and Upolu. This sounds Polynesian. I wonder if this is Samoa. Let's see if that's right. Goes up and down. Yeah, that could be Bob's. Orion's belt points to it. Is it the star Sirius? That would fit. I don't know that for sure, though. Deck treatment. Yeah, that should be a stain. Okay. Smart could be hurt. And then, what do we have on this theme answer here? Look who it is. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. I wonder where the last half of all these sayings went. Go ahead. 
and this is hyphenated, so that means this is a noun. So maybe this could be a nod? You got the nod, you got the go-ahead, yeah. Okay, so what an app might signify. Is this a road game? Oh my god, that's so tricky. This is a sports thing. Yeah, it's not a home game, it's a road game. Wow. A butterfly flying into your home is a good one, some say. Sounds like that might be a good omen. Who's that girl rapper? I think it has to be Eve, right? It's nothing, that could be nil. Sends high into the sky. It's not launches, that doesn't fit. Maybe it's lofts? Twitter boss Musk, that is Elon Musk. Groovy could be, what? It's not rad. I don't think so. An equivalent phrase? It's not just nah, is it? Hmm. Kind of cable for short. I guess that could be an auxiliary cable. Have a life? It looks like that's gonna be exist. The jazz on scoreboards, they're the Utah jazz. Carnival dance, maybe it's carnival dance? That could be a samba, yeah. Obsolescent circus worker. I guess that's tamers, thankfully. Honey, is this a pet name? Could this be Bay? Ship shape, maybe that's neat? Ship shape in Bristol fashion? Bottom of the barrel. Would that be the dregs? Yeah. So this has got to be if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? Okay, finally. Maybe this is nah. What is this? Groovy. It's not far out. Glamping option named for its shape? Glamping, is it some kind of cabin? Hmm, knee slapper. So this should be some kind of joke, right? Fate. Hmm, what is this gonna be? What's another word for fate? I don't know. I wonder if we can start to get this next theme answer. Club relative. Are we talking about sandwiches? Could this be a BLT? Canon offering in brief. Well, they make cameras, so maybe this is a single lens reflex camera? Let's see. Looks can be deceiving. All that glitters is not gold. Okay. Pants slangily. Could that be trow? Drop trow? Indubitably. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be another kind of cutesy word. Hmm. Is it to be sure? It's not super cutesy. Ben Hur. Something a beanie lacks. A beanie doesn't have a brim. Childish plea. Childish plea. Is it I wanna? That's pretty childish. Holy smokes, an equivalent phrase. Hmm, I guess it could be my god. Does that make sense? C111 down. With 114 across, crystal collector perhaps. Yeah, that could be a new ager. Okay. Tammy Hussang, stand by your man. I think that was Tammy Wynette, wasn't it? Have you heard about Batik? It's a dying blank, groaner. That's gotta be, it's a dying art. That's very funny. We've learned about Batik on previous puzzles. I'm glad we got a funny joke about it. Okay, I guess that's not quite a knee slapper. What is this gonna be? Hmm. Greek word meaning character. I wonder if this is ethos. It's like the character of a people. Now I remember. Oh yeah. That doesn't quite fit. Poet Marianne. 
I don't think I'm gonna know this one. Why you might run out, you might run out on an errand. Chow? Is it Sia? An equivalent phrase? Yeah. So this has gotta be, oh yes. I wonder if we can take a peek at our revealer at this point. Etc. Etc. Or a statement about answers to this puzzle starred clues. <laughs> you know the rest. And we do, that's very funny. Yeah, these are all very famous sayings. Nice, that was really fun. Okay, let's finish off this little corner here. A little light combat. And this is more wordplay. So I guess it's not about two armies sparring with each other. It's gotta be about combat that literally involves light. I think this is gonna be laser tag. That's pretty funny. Okay. Glamping option. It's gotta end in tent, right? Accept could be save. Parody could be send up. Okay. Spotted nocturnal mammal. I believe that's called a civet. Hardly tiptoes. Is that clomps? You're making a lot of noise with your footsteps, yeah. Is this a hoot? It's a knee slapper? Yeah. Okay. Fate. What kind of tent is this? Named for its shape. Hmm. This is very tricky. Plaything. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a toy. It's gotta be about a thing that's used in a play. That could be a prop. Bit of redacted info for short has gotta be a social security number. Palindromic prefix. Well, if it's a palindrome, we know this has to be an N, so it's non. Hmm. Boy, this is really tricky. Groovy. Maybe it's fab. Ooh, yeah, fabulous. And maybe this is a bell tent? I've never heard of that before. And maybe this is your lot in life. That's your fate. That was very tricky. Do some maintenance on as a PC's disc. It's gotta be defrag. I haven't had to do that in a long time. Where there's smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I feel like that's an unofficial theme answer. Yeah, that's funny. Mother of Apollo and Artemis. Uh, hmm. I.E.? Is that right? R.S.? This looks weird too. Account holder, e.g. Shouldn't that be a user? Ooh. This is not a fire. So what is this gonna be instead? Where there's smoke. Is it a flu in your fireplace? Oh my god, that's so tricky. Popular online marketplace. That's gotta be Etsy. Mother of Apollo and Artemis. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know this. Homophone of her. I guess it's gonna be her. Poetic palindrome. That's probably gonna be air makes gassy has got to be air rates and i guess this has got to be lita right and this is gregory popular papal name i don't know i guess so i guess i haven't ever heard of a pope called gregory before but i think that's what it has to be so let's throw this a in there and see if that'll do it for us Ooh, fiddlesticks Let's see if we can track this incorrect square down. I wonder if it's this vowel right here. Is it an O? So we could have a Gregory with an O and Lido. Yeah, that actually seems even better. So let's go ahead and throw this O in there and see if that will in fact do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 42 minutes. That was a nice relaxing Sunday solve, yeah. We have a theme that's about famous phrases that we only get the first section of, and then we're told that you know the rest. We have a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, great minds think alike, 
Speak of the devil and he shall appear. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. All that glitters is not gold. And when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Yeah, these are all classics, so I think everyone's going to have heard of at least most of these. As far as the rest of the fill goes, there wasn't anything too crazy going on. I did like Quasar, that's a fun entry. And there was a handful of good tricky clues today. I thought this was a kind of a fun misdirection here, they may be yawning for chasms. This is a pretty classic wordplay clue, plaything for prop. I really liked this one, a little light combat for laser tag. And we actually skipped over a really good wordplay clue down here, either of two lead characters in Kiss Me Cave. And the answer turned out to be K. Yeah, they're talking about the lead characters in the words of the title, Kiss Me Kate. Nice and tricky there. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed solving that Sunday puzzle with me. If you're in the mood for more crossword solving, great minds think alike. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. Alright, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.